Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? So there's nothing that you have to do to increase what Jesus did. But faith goes and gets those things that Jesus Christ has already given. So grace provides it, yes. but faith goes and gets it. Thank you. In those areas. So, for instance, if, if, I, if, if you know, like, the, remember the coronavirus that was out a few years ago. All right. All of a sudden, someone said, you know, that someone finally came up with a, with, with a cure for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that gave us hope, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, my God, there's hope now. Mm -hmm. But see, even though there was hope there in those areas. And so now I said, I'm, 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 I'm get my faith together. I'm going to go. They're going to be giving uh, uh, vaccines at, at Walmart. I'm going there to get me uh, uh, to get it. You know, and so now I got my confession in line. Mm -hmm. I'm going there on Monday to get my vaccine. But see, if I don't put action to that, even though the cure is there mm -hmm. by grace, it's been provided for you and it's free of charge. Yet, if you don't put your action to it and go and get it, uh, you find me, then it, you still will never get the results of the vaccine. Right. So what's happening in a lot of people's lives today, they're confessing what God has done. But they don't have no actions with it. And that's what we're going to talk about this week about actually, you know, why my faith isn't working. But then organizing my faith, my life and my faith to get my organizing my works mm -hmm. to get my faith to working mm -hmm. or organizing my actions to get my faith to working. So uh, so in those areas. So so faith then always expresses itself in works. Yes, it you got is. that. Amen. So faith expresses itself. In works, mm -hmm. my actions are the expressions of my faith. Mm. So let's look at verse number seventeen, Doctor Bell of James, two verse seventeen. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, mm. is dead, being alone. Isn't that right? In other words, faith and, and faith works. Faith and works uh, operate together, mm -hmm. like uh, just like uh, I think Bible says, if I have faith and have not works, that is the same thing as having a spirit and a body. The spirit and the body must work together, together. otherwise the body dies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you follow me? You know, well, how come that body died? I still see the body, but the spirit is gone. Mm -hmm. Or you say the spirit is there, but the body gone. So the spirit needs the body to live in, mm -hmm. but yet the body can't live without the spirit. That's good. And that's what he's talking about. Even so, faith, <laughs> if it has not works, is also dead being alone. Mm -hmm. And then he talks, he gives an example of Abraham whose faith was perfected by his works. And this right. in the book of uh, 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 verse 21 down there. Was not Abraham our father justified by works mm -hmm. when he had offered Isaac, his son, upon the altar? Mm -hmm. Seeing thou how faith wrought with his works and by works was faith made perfect. So we can see that, all right, Abraham's perfect. faith, mm. you know, he had faith, but his works is what uh, is what caused him. Uh, uh, it says he offered son his son upon the altar. Now he could have said, you know what, God has spoke to me mm -hmm. about offering my son on the altar, and then I'm gonna get the blessing of God. But it said, but he was, but his faith was perfected by his works. Mm -hmm. So he said, I got faith, but he said, but your faith will never come to a point of perfection where you get results without the works. Mm -hmm. And that's what it said about Abraham, who who was the who was concerned, who considered the father of our faith. Mm -hmm. So what's happened in a lot of people's lives is they got faith. And they've got the confessions, but their actions are not corresponding mm -hmm. with those things. Mm -hmm. And so then we can see here in verse 23, Dr. Bell. And the scripture was fulfilled, mm -hmm. which saith, Abraham believed God, mm -hmm. and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. So Abraham believed God. But now notice here, mm -hmm. it was his believing mm -hmm. and his actions that caused him to become the friends of God. It was not just his believing, mm -hmm. but it was his act. Bible said Abraham believed God, but that believing was him acting on what he believed. Yes. See, a lot of people say, I'm a friend of God. Mm -hmm. I'm a friend of God, you know, and things like that. Okay, but now, is your, is your faith got actions with it? Mm -hmm. Because that is what caused Abraham to be, become the friend of God. Mm -hmm. You got that? Mm -hmm. And so notice in verse 24, what he said, Dr. Bell. You see then how that by works, a man is justified and not by faith only. You got that? See, so the whole point is, I got put that in my heart this morning. That's mm -hmm. what's happening. Because you know, I said, Lord, you know, man, you know, get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, we, we already got these things. By grace, we already got it. He said, that's what's happened to a lot of people today since the grace message came out. A lot of people just stopped. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, well, it's going to be taken care of anyway because well. I got it by grace anyway. No. Mm -hmm. He said, what's happening is that a man is justified mm -hmm. uh, 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 by, by works and not by faith only. It takes faith, even though the grace is providing it for you. 
but without works corresponding actions with that, he said it's still not going to work for you. And so then we can even look at Rahab the harlot. Amen. Uh, verse 25 says, what does it Likewise, also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works mm -hmm. when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way? Yes. So we can see that it was not just her faith. Mm. It says, but it was, it was, it was unifying her believing and her doing yes, yes. that, that counted with God. That's right. See, so the whole point is God still saying, mm -hmm. even with her, it was not just her faith, but it was her believing and her doing. A lot of people are saying, well, I believe in God, but all you doing Come are the on. actions that are providing that's with that. Right. That's and right. that's what we're talking about this whole year. Mm -hmm. We're talking about this is going to be the year of the supernatural, but, but the God is saying, you're, you're believing and your actions must correspond. Mm -hmm. you got to put some things in place. Amen. You'll find me in those areas. And verse 26 said, what, Dr. Ben? For as the body without the spirit is dead, mm -hmm. so faith without works is dead also. Can you see that? Do you like the body with the spirit? In other words, if you, if you take my body mm -hmm. uh, away from my spirit, uh, ain't, ain't not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So he's saying that the same way, if, it, if, you, if, the, if the body without the spirit is dead, mm -hmm. Faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. They work together like a hand and a glove. Yes, you, you, yes. If you don't put the, you know, the glove it has no action That's right. unless you put the hand into it. But you put the hand inside that glove, now the glove can move because there's the hand that's coming to move. It's them working together. Right. And that's what God is saying today is that faith and works together, mm -hmm. faith and corresponding actions together is what makes it happen. People say, I'm believing for my church to grow. Really? Mm. Are, 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 you, are you teaching on soul winning? No, I'm just believing for the growth. Faith without works is dead. Right. Well, I, 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 I'm in my business. I'm in my business to grow. Are you advertising? Are, 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 you, are, you, are you putting out some, you know, are you working some things on, on getting things together? No, I'm just believing God. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, you, you don't have no works behind that thing. That's right. And you find, so what I'm saying, a lot of people believing for some things have no actions with it. Yes. And they wonder how come their faith is not working. Mm. You find, it's like having a glove <laughs> without no hand in it. The glove is just, it's, it's seamless. It's, it's, it's idle. It's inoperative. Mm -hmm. Can't get no results from it. Mm -hmm. Put a hand in that glove. It, it works. The spirit is the hand. The, the glove is your body. Amen. But when you put them together, you can catch a ball. Thank you. <laughs> you follow me? <laughs> and that's what's needed today. So I want to talk about today. As we get into this, into this year of 2023, some things that I, that I learned years ago about some things that I had to put in place in my life Actions, I say actions, I need to put in my place in my life that can cause my faith to work on three different levels. Okay. And I call those levels the three P's, mm -hmm. <laughs> amen, uh, uh, of organizing my faith to get results. And, 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 and you put these things in place in your life, it, it'll, it'll produce some results in your life. Yeah. So, so uh, the book of Matthew chapter number th six, verse 33 says what, Dr. Bell? But seek ye first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. So the first thing you have to do, you got to organize your faith to get results. And the first thing you have to do is, all right, God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yeah. So there's some things you must do first. Mm -hmm. You know, what, are, what is the order of things that you need to incorporate into your life to get the results in your life? And I call them three Ps. Number one, uh, as we said, seek first the kingdom of God. Because what you do first in your life really determines how the rest of your day comes out. You got that? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I call the first one, I call my personal relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Because your personal, you know, I, you know, you can't just go out starting off getting, you know, think about business the first time you get up in the morning. Or think about Facebook the first time you get in the morning. But, but what is the first thing you do in the morning? Mm -hmm. Because you got to organize yourself. There's some actions that are required. Yes. You know, in those areas. Uh, the Bible talks about a person that sleeps, you know, you know uh, and slumbers. Probably going to come on him in Jesus' right. name. Are you Amen. following me? So the first thing I call is my personal relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And that's the spiritual level. Yes. I got I to gotta focus because I am a spirit. Mm -hmm. I don't have a spirit. I am a spirit. Yes. Created in the image of God. Mm -hmm. So so I got to first of all understand, I got to work on me first. That's good. You know, a lot of mm -hmm. people get up and work on their physical body first, but that's the glove. Yeah. <laughs> you follow me? But you want to work on your, your, your the, the, the real you first. I am a spirit. Yes. I have a soul. I live inside of a body. Mm -hmm. So I got to get my spiritual life together, first of all, which is prayer, you know, things like that, getting into the word of God together. Mm -hmm. And then mentally, 
you know, I, I, I need to listen to the word every day mm -hmm. or read books every day. I got to do something to, to keep my mind yes. growing strong Amen. physically. Yes. I got to make sure I'm exercising mm -hmm. and, and I'm eating properly. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I got high blood pressure, but I'm just believing God, you know, that my, I, I, I don't have my high, high blood pressure, really, but you're still eating my five pork chops every day. <laughs> you follow me? You know what I mean? You, you know, in those areas, you're not getting no exercise and things like right, that. Right, and right. so you wonder how come your blood pressure ain't going down because mm -hmm. faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. You cannot violate spiritual laws and expect the thing to work in your life. Are uh, you following me? Amen. Uh, financial. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. So I got to, you know, my personal, I got to get my financial situation together. Yes. You know, I got I to take charge and you know, say, all right, now, where am I at financially? Mm -hmm. And where do I want to go? Mm -hmm. You know, in those areas, because I, you know, am I a tither? You know, am, am I, do I, am I, am I a consistent giver? Amen. You know, in those areas, am I getting the work on time? Mm -hmm. Are you, am I, am I doing something to continue to cause myself to grow in my skill? Amen. You follow me? So I got to, you know, cause I, financials is important, but I got to work on that. Amen. And recreation, you know, I got to take a day off every now and then, which sometimes it's hard for me to do. We got to take a day off every now and then, you know, put some vacations in place. You got to do some things recreational. Things don't, you have, like that best of the day, have fun. That's right. You can't just have all work and no play. That's that's right. You got to have fun together. Something that give, what gives you recreation? Some people like play golf, you know, ride horses or whatever you need to do. You got Bev said shop. She likes to yes. go shopping. Yes. Re yes. Re recreation. You got to have all those things in place because that's the personal side of you. Amen. And you can't just have faith and not, uh, not incorporate some things in your life personally. And then I said, num number two is call your private life. That's good. And that's concerning your marriage. If you're married, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you got to, uh, you, you got to, you, your marriage don't work on automatic. Nope. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. <laughs> you, you got to put some time into your relationship. Yes. Children. Yes. Thank God we finally got an empty nest. But <laughs> if, even though it's empty nest here, but we still have to deal with them all the time. Amen. <laughs> you know, amen. Yeah, so yeah, so the man. whole point is that you know, all right, you got to take time with your children. Yeah. Keep that together, and they, whether it's the smaller children and some even adult children, you got to make all kind of adjustments to keep they still with them and thing like that. Parents, yeah. our, both our parents are gone, but you know, but we got parents in the Lord. Amen. So we got to do some things to keep them relationships together. Yes. Uh, relatives, you know, uh, you know, we all got some nuts, fruits, and flakes in relatives. <laughs> praise God. But then what relate? But there, but there are some relationship. There are some relatives that you get a relationship with, Amen. and and you know. Family reunions that I get, you know, get involved in things, you know, because these are things that private life needs to be important in That's your life. Right. And then we call the next point is your public life. Mm -hmm. You know, that comes with your church, mm -hmm. you know, you know, attending church and things like that, mm -hmm. which many of you are doing every day now. You're listening to the word of God mm -hmm. here on Facebook every morning that that this is church. Your church is not a building, but yet you should go to the building also. Yes. But it's not just a building. Amen. But uh, but, you know, you got to make sure that your church, the serving God is in place. Amen. Uh, Work. Yeah. Amen. You know, without man, if man don't work, he don't eat. Right. <laughs> Amen. So you gotta put some time in it where people say, Well, I'm just believing God. No, you gotta work. Mm -hmm. yes, you <laughs> Amen. Do. You know, I can't sit around and say, you know, Pastor, I am I'm I'm a I'm a pastor, mm -hmm. so I'm just believing God. Now no, you gotta put some work in this thing. That's right. Or you got a business, I'm just believing God. No, you gotta work. Amen. Things that happen in life. Is work. Yes, it is. Amen. And so you got to, you know, you got you got to work. You got to put if you Amen. want to be successful, you got to work. And then friends, yes. you know, you you know, and that's sometimes very limited because you everybody say your friend ain't your friend. That's right. But you do have some friends, and it's good to connect with people that are friends with you <laughs> that you can have, you know, you can talk to and hang out whatever now and then. <laughs> And, and, and let your hair down a little bit. Yeah. So you need friends in your life. So these are some things I was saying that you, you got to put some works behind you your faith and, and, and create your life. Dr. Bill, what do you say about what I just talked about? Yes, it takes uh, it takes faith to get moving. Yes. It's like, you know, even in the mornings, you know, it's, it's like, you know, I got to get up and I got to get dressed. Yeah. And I know that. But I won't be able to do it if I don't move. Yeah, yeah. So it takes me moving myself in faith, taking yeah. my body. My spirit is willing. Yeah. But they say that this flesh, <laughs> Lord have mercy, it yeah. is so weak. Yeah. So, but I have to get, you know, keep it moving through through my faith because you know, you you see my faith is in action. It's in yeah. action. I got up, I got moving, yeah. and now I'm dressed. And this is the result of faith in action. <laughs> faith in action. Because this is right. not how she looks, or that's not how I look. When we first get up in the morning. 
We have to put some action to this thing. Yes, I'm telling you. you. Know, what you see is faith in action. Faith in action. This is this the is results it. of our faith. Get up in the morning. You got it. <laughs> you follow that's me? right. Doing it. Yeah, that's right. So it, it t just like you say, uh, with those three P's, it takes a personal, yeah. it takes your private, and it takes public. In order for, you know, what I do in private, guess what? I'm going to show that in public. You got it. And so, but in private, if I don't, if I don't take care of my spiritual life, you know, in private, when I go out there to the world and go start going off, that means I didn't take care of myself. That's right. That's so right. The, so therefore, we must, you know, uh, have a public image, you know, because because this is what God is looking for. This is what the world is looking for. Mm -hmm. Because the world, the world is not going to receive you if you ain't been in prayer. Yeah. You know, they're gonna they're gonna look over you. They not they don't they they're not gonna want to have anything to do with you. But you all will. It, it you have to do it in faith. So you have to keep your faith moving. So this week we're gonna be talking about this. Yes. You know, getting our faith moving, yeah. getting our faith to, to get in action and getting results yes. with our faith. Because the That's whole right. point is, you know, uh, just talking the talk mm -hmm. and, and, and not walking the walk gets no results. Nah. So this week we'll be talking about Faith in action, yeah, getting right. our faith to working, that's right. what it produces results in our life. Mm -hmm. So that's our theme for this whole year. We're looking forward to what God's going to be doing in your life this week. Now, I want you to do, make sure if you're on Facebook, share this with, the, with your friends. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and if you're on YouTube, like it uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and subscribe because the whole goal this week will be talking about putting your faith in action for the supernatural results. Mm -hmm. Because this is a year of a supernatural, but faith without works is dead. Yes. Okay, and so for those that are my partners, I will be sending you the notes to this so you can have the notes for this, and I'll send you the YouTube links on this. Also, you'll be able to send the YouTube links to some of your friends and things like that, because the whole goal will get this word out today Amen. on how to get results, yes. amen, with your faith, and, and getting your faith and active, getting, activating your faith in Jesus' name. It'll be great amen. all this week. So before we leave, as always... Men, again, thank you all for our, the, 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 our partners that, yes. that partner with us. It's because of what you do and, and uh, being led by the Spirit of God. Your actions mm -hmm. and your giving mm -hmm. is what's causing God to do some things that he's doing mm -hmm. through our lives in, uh, in ministry. And so, again, we want to thank God for all you that have been so faithful with your tithing, with your offering, with your seeds of faith. Yes, we, we're in agreement with you that those seeds that you've been sowing yes. is releasing supernatural power in your life personally, Amen. Uh, uh, privately and publicly yes. in area of your life. Amen. And so uh, how, uh, and so we're going to take a moment to receive mm -hmm. the tithe and offerings. And so for those that are, are our partners, but also maybe some of you that want to be our partners, mm -hmm. we come and agree with you as you partner with us Amen. in faith. Yes. Amen. Fin for both in prayer and in finances, that the God that we serve mm -hmm. and that you serve, one can put a thousand in flight, but now that we're partnered together, Two can put 10,000 a flight. God. So we fully expect your life to be 10,000 times more strong, powerfully, when we partner together, together. In, in, in Jesus' name. Yes. So the way you, you, we would do that right there on Facebook or YouTube, if you scroll down there, you will see there where uh, you can click that link. It'll take you right to our giving area. And, and you can click and take it right to there or right there. You can do a cash app, a dollar sign, Apostle I am, or there on Zale, which is very simple, at I am Ministries on Zale, or right there on, right on, on the screen right there. You can click that code right there, the QR code, and take it right to the giving area. But what my seven Dr. Bell do is we, as we come on with you on, a mor on every morning, uh, Tuesday through Friday, but also on Sunday at 9 a.m., we're here to be a blessing to you. Amen. We're here to feed your faith. We're here to help you get results with yes. your faith so that your life will be the better result of hearing the word of God today. Right. And so I'm going to pray for you right now. I'm believing God today that, that, that this week your faith is going to, uh, you're going to understand the works, the actions you need to get with your faith. Beautiful. And that you're going, to, you're, going to, you're going to find the keys to getting results in your Amen. life this, this, this week. And so that your life is going to be in manifestation, yes. a supernatural year. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank we you, thank you for Father. our partners. We thank you for those that are partnering with us, who you're leading, leading to become partners. And we set ourselves in agreement with them, yes, Father, Jesus. for supernatural results in their lives. We pray for their families today, Father. We pray for their marriages. We thank pray for their children. Thank we pray you. for their their, 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 their finances, yes, Father. Jesus. We pray for the health of their bodies. That, Lord, they'll, that, they'll be, that they're strong in health this year, yes, Father. They're, they're, and, they're, and they're prospering financially this year. And that the, the way it's has been trying to come between their marriages and their relationships, yes, Father, yes. is broken in Jesus' in name. name and Jesus. that they're, they're, they're enjoying the, the, the life that you designed for them, Jesus. Your word declared that they, you came to give them life and that more abundantly. So, Lord, that this seed that they're sowing today, God, 
activate their faith. Let this be an action of yes. activating their Amen. faith, God, Amen. to get the results that they've been designed in life yes. in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. So, Father, we declare it. And we receive it by faith in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. So we appreciate you. Praise God. Yes, a great time do. being with you all today. Again, make sure you share this with your friends. Share it on Facebook. And, uh, and, and let's, see God, uh, let's see God continue to do great things in your life and the lives of those who God has called you to be in contact. Dr. Bill, get some final words. Yes. You activate your faith by moving. So get a move on. Get a move on. And you get these kind of results. <laughs> Yeah, you get these kind of results. And these kind of results. That's right. <laughs> so until tomorrow, this day, until this been Apostle Alfred Craig. And Dr. Bibb say, may, may God's riches and his, his very best, best be yours. yours. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.